Hello everyone, welcome to Free Bubble. We've now made DRM easier than ever to get set up with Widevine, Play Ready, and Fair Play using the EZ DRM as a third party license server. So if you're in S3 Bubble, you'll see that we've got a new stack section here on the right. So if you're a new user, make sure that you've connected via IAM connections. But once you're set up, you can go ahead and just go over to stacks and we're going to create an EZ DRM stack. So what I'm going to do is you need to put in your EZ DRM username and your EZ DRM password here and click create stack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've clicked create stack and you can see our, our stack is now creating. So what this is doing is it's going and setting up everything you need for your DRM service. Okay, so it's setting up an input bucket, an output bucket, it's setting up a CloudFront distribution. If we actually run a refresh here, you'll see that it will start to show that um, it's creating a CloudFront distribution here in the top. And um, we are also setting up Lambda functions and doing all the good stuff needed to be able to get up and running with DRM. So all we need to do now is simply wait for the template to complete. So I'm going to wait for that to happen now. Okay, great. So as you can see now, our stack is now created. So once the stack's created, it will give us some outputs and it will show us what we've created. So it's created a del delivery bucket. Um, it's created a CloudFront distribution to um, deliver our content globally. It's created a root URL for the API for the protection key and it's created a private bucket to store our meter in. Okay, So let's go ahead and we're going to copy the API key that we're going to be using to encode our media and then let's go over to AWS and let's go to storage and we'll go into our private bucket because the private bucket is going to, where, going to be where you actually upload your media to. So I'm just going to drag a media file in here. It's just a really small file. If you're uploading large files obviously um, large movie files are going to be gigs and gigs. You don't. You want to use the AWS uploader, or you want to use our desktop app. Okay, so you can download the desktop app here. And I'll just give this a second while this uploads. Okay, so as you can see, our video is now uploaded. So all we need to do now is go ahead and click Encode Video. Okay, so let's go to Save and Continue. You can add captions and audio, um, but we just want to get to the DRM section here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to save our URL that was created with the stack. This is because we're going to be reusing this URL over and over again, so it makes sense to actually save it. And then we can just select our URL here. Here we can select the resource ID. I'm just going to select a previous one, or you can click Save a Resource ID and use a random one to create your own. And here's where we want to select the system ID. So to start off with, we're going to be using Widevine and Play Ready for Dash, okay, and save and continue. No clipping, no adverts. And now here's where we want to output it to our delivery bucket. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Your videos go into your private bucket where they can never be accessed, but then they get outputted after encoding to your delivery bucket. Okay, we're going to use a random ID. And here is where we select the CloudFront distribution that was created. And for the job, what we'll do is you want to select the recommended for Dash. Okay, because we're going to be doing Dash streaming for Widevine and PlayReady. Click Save and then click Submit. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and just look at the job. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just wait until this has finished encoding this piece of media and protecting it with DRM and setting up the EZ DRM as a license server to serve the licenses. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video while this happens. Okay, great. So as you can see, our encoding job has completed. So let's go ahead and view our player. So what we will do is going to provide us with the URL, the direct URL to our manifest file for Dash, okay? And here is just some information on how to set up your licenses with EZ DRM, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll test this in um, the JW Player uh, DRM tester. So you can use this with anyone, Bitmoving, JW Player, any player that you can think of. Okay, so we're going to paste in our manifest. We're going to be using Widevine, so you need your Widevine license URL. So let's go ahead and go down to Widevine, and you can just take the license URL here okay and paste it in but we obviously need to change these six digits to our EZ DRM profile ID okay so what we can do is we can just go ahead and go over here and then let's just taste the take the last six digits here off the EZ DRM profile ID widevine profile ID and then we can go back to JW player paste these in and we can test the stream okay and you can see our stream is now playing, it's protected with the highest level of protection up to studio approved um, DRM and it's working really nicely here okay so I'll also just show you how to do um, fair play so it's similar Widevine and Play Ready will work with the same but let's just go back to our job okay we're going to create another job okay for the proxy URL again we're going to be using the 
one we've got set up for the resource ID I'm just going to use this one but for select IDs here we're going to be doing Apple Fair Play streaming okay and then we're going to select continue we're not going to be doing adverts same process as before output to our delivery bucket and then we're going to be using the same Cloudfront distribution to distribute our media but this time we're going to be using HLS because Apple supports HLS and not Dash so let's use HLS and then let's click submit okay so this is now going off and it's encoding our video to HLS adaptive bitrate and then I'll show you how you can then get that set up with um, Apple Fairplay DRM so I'm just going to pause the video while this goes off and completes our job okay great so as you can see our HLS job is now completed let's go ahead and view the player okay so this has now given us our um, m 3 u 8 file URL uh, but to test this we're going to be using the JW player but obviously remember that um, Fairplay will only work in Safari okay it's not going to work in Chrome Chrome supports Widevine, Internet Explorer supports uh, Play Ready, um, Firefox, Firefox sorry, supports Widevine and Fairplay is supported by Safari so let's go ahead and open up Safari let's paste in our M308 file here now I've already pasted in our Fairplay cert now you need to set this up and get approved with Apple Fairplay okay so to do that you need to send off a request to their FPS service okay but um, let's go ahead and you also need to get your license URL okay so what you can do is you can take your license URL here go back to Safari paste it in here and we just need to grab the asset ID we use to encode our media so you can do that by clicking this link here it will open up your EZ uh, DRM account and then this is the asset ID we have just used okay so let's go ahead and copy that and then what we can do then is we can go back to Safari and paste in our asset ID there so we've got our certificate and our license with the asset ID appended okay and then what we can do is click test stream okay and then what you'll actually notice which is quite good is it's, it's playing but the reason we're not seeing anything in the player is because with Fairplay it supports um, the ability to prevent screen recorders so because I'm screen recorded now that's why you just see a black um, kind of screen but I can promise you that this is working uh, but that just shows you how you've got some extra functionality with Fairplay so I hope you can see how powerful this is um, get set up with S3 Bubble um, it's a, a really easy way to get set up with the different DRM technologies and I uh, hope you enjoy these new setups thanks